sunny day. I met you up in the garden. Well, I had to do a little um, intro here because I shot a whole intro video in my garden showing all the before junky, messy yard that there was there. Um, because it had been completely winterized and I know a lot of you can really relate more than I can even because we're in California But the fountain needed cleaning that had been turned off all the beds were kind of you know junky um, I made this great video, but as much as I tried to send it to Mandy my editor-in-chief I couldn't send it and now here I'm in her office because I thought well I'll just do it here. Well for some reason it doesn't play so I guess I didn't do a very good job making that video anyway I'm wasting a lot of time on this intro to say that um, what I did is I um, I went and bought the Baby Boo, I think it's called. I have a picture of it, I'll put this in the blog. Um, just a really good organic uh, mix to put in my um, raised beds and cleaned everything out and churned all the dirt and turned that mulch in there. And um, I went to the um, nursery and talked to Ramon, the local nursery guy, which everybody should just talk to the guy locally because he knows what's going on in your neighborhood. And they gave me some great tomato uh, planting tips. And I swear I'm going to get that good tomato. It's like this challenge. My husband told me, this is going to be your year. Like it's become a family thing where they all know that. Try to get that tomato. I want to go to like the, you know, 4-H club or something where, you know, there's the guy with the sheep and I got my vegetables. And here's my tomato. But uh, anyway, so I think I, I covered that in some videos about the planting of the tomato. But uh, it looks so beautiful now and it is ready to go. And so... I just want to encourage everybody. I, I, I mentioned this probably in one of these tapes, but I don't know if it was the one that was didn't work. But it's just so great to have a hobby, and this is a great hobby because you're outside, and it's almost like having a pet or a baby. You go out every day to see what's happening in there, and what little guys have come, and is there a new little strawberry, or what's that bug doing there? Get rid of him. What's that disease leave? You're out. You know. So um, it's a great hobby. I should just be a spokesperson for the uh, Gardeners of America Association to say this is a great hobby. And also, as I said somewhere, I think in my, when I was filthy and exhausted and uh, eating my orange yesterday, is um, it gets you outside and you're doing something else. You don't even think about snacking or eating or doing whatever and you're doing it. But I will say as I'm getting older, I'm kind of doing too much. Like I went to an event last night and my hips and everything were just killing me. And I thought, if anybody asks me to stand up, it's going to be a whole like... <laughs> but um, anyway, I encourage you to do it. And if you have problems with bending over and all that, they do have these little rolling seats that you can roll around your garden like that. But the nice thing about a raised bed that's a foot off, you can sit on one side and get on down in there without killing yourself. So anyway, a um, little update on the video. And then um, in a few weeks, we'll get that first bloom of the roses that I talked about with you guys. And that's, it's, I can already see the billion buds. It's going to be amazing. So stay tuned for a future uh, gardening vlog. Okay, bye. Okay, now my soil is prepped. My drip lines are all over the place, but I'm going to lay them out as I go. And um, actually, this garden was set up to do a different plant every foot, which is crazy. Uh, for a small garden kind of thing, but I'm, I'm going a little bit wider than a foot. Um, and I'm going to have my banana peels I've been saving. I'm going to throw these in here too. I, I don't know if it's going to make it better or worse, but I'm on, all into this banana peel thing. So I can't really do it videoing, but um, they told me at the local nursery what I need to do is I need to break off all these lower stems. I guess I made it sound really easy. Maybe I need two hands. The videoing thing might ruin it. Anyway, I'm going to, as soon as I get off the video, I'm going to take all these off and I'm only going to plant like this last little bit above the ground. So you dig a hole as deep as all that and you put it in the ground and just leave a couple inches at the top. That way it uh, develops a big root system. So they tell me. I am on the endless quest every year to get the great tomatoes. So, um, alright, I'm going to plant these and I'll get back to you. Okay, this is the craziest thing. I had to dig such a gigantic hole to make it be just a few, maybe two, four inches above the ground. So if the ground is here, oh my gosh, it almost seems too high still, but honestly, I don't know how much further I can dig. Okay, Ramon, I hope you're right this year. I'm going to keep digging maybe a couple more inches. Yeah, I survived that dig out. And I put them, and I've mentioned this before, on these uh, vertical 
tomato cages or sort of V's. Down here I put an artichoke here in the corner with the sun. Hopefully that'll be fabulous. But um, so these just grow straight up and you just tie them as you go. But I put them all down low. So the secret, like this one, buy a tiny plant and then you don't have to do much. <laughs> okay. Spacing out the corn. I'm sure I'm over planting, but I like the lush. So I kind of set them all out before I actually planted them so I can move them around like I just did because I had uh, three or four extra that didn't fit. So I squished them more together. But I kind of like over planting. I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's a six pack. What are you going to do? Okay, I've got it all planted. I still have to um, work on my fountain. But now I'm going to spray this organic vegetable fertilizer that they said I can just spray in the leaves once a month. So I'm going to mark it on my calendar to do it once a month and maybe, just maybe this year I'm going to get the tomatoes I want. And we're back in action. Ready to get going on my spring crops. Yay! Tomatoes all planted. Peppers in the front. A few agaves in with the fountain and a few herbs. We got the uh, kale moved to the front. We'll see how that does in the transplant. Got the corn in the back. Squash, cucumbers, gonna grow up the vine. Got a little space there in front to plant something. Okay. Weekly update. Okay, I'm pooped. Filthy. <laughs> and have an orange. <laughs> it's a lot of work. But you know what the cool thing is? You know, you get out in your garden and um, not only is it completely and totally satisfying, but it is after three o'clock and I haven't been eating or snacking or wasting my time. I've actually done something super productive. And I think maybe I lost a pound today. You know, kind of like a farmer woman, you know, digging and carrying. And I just encourage everybody to get a hobby and this is really a rewarding, fun one. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see where I'm sitting in the room I was working on yesterday. It's just looking so good. So this is where I'm sitting now without the cushions on my um, sectional here because it's supposed to rain, but it's looking really good. That's my burnum. The fruits of my labor. That apple tree over here.